Right, we move on to the final element, the fifth and final element called expenses. Now expenses, that term is used um, a lot in common, common use, expense, for the costs that are involved. So when we think about business, these are the costs involved in running the business. Got a little definition here. Expenses are the running costs of a business so that it continue to operate and continue to earn revenue from customers. So, got a question, what are some common costs that a business would have? Have a think about it. Uh, what would be some common things? Imagine a hotel, what would be some common expenses or costs they would have? Now, if you are brainstorming this and have a think about um, some common costs, probably a big one that you think about is purchases of inventory. Uh, if you're running a restaurant, you need the food or the bar supplies to go into that restaurant or bar. So we've got purchases of inventory. We'll come back to that in a second. Uh, if you put, you know, paying your staff wages or salaries, you'll be absolutely right. That is also another big one as well. But then you've got all your other running costs. So maybe you have to pay rent. Uh, you have to pay the electricity bill. Maybe you pay water. Uh, maybe you've got vehicle running costs. Such as petrol, things like that. These are all expenses. These are all the costs that a business has to pay to continue running. Um, and yes, you have to keep on paying them, uh, you have invoices um, coming in, for example electricity, you pay it one month, well you have to pay it again the next month. Now, where I'm going with this is that there's a difference between an asset and an expense. Now sometimes it can be very difficult to see the difference. But the key is, is it going to be used up? Or is it going to be an item that you can keep? So this will help you figure out whether it's an asset, classification, or an expense. Now for a lot of these, you will pay it and it will be used up. So, a good example is electricity. You pay the electricity bill, that's it, it gets back to zero. Again, in another month's time, you get another bill. Um, you put petrol in the motor vehicle. The petrol gets used up, you then have to fill it up again. These are all running costs of the business, so they're expenses. Now, let's change that to an asset. So for example, if it said, say, purchase of a vehicle, for example, it's two different things. So a vehicle stays for a long time maybe a few years, we're going to have this vehicle and we're going to get benefit from it. That's going to be an asset. But there are expenses related to that asset. So the petrol, registration, servicing, insurance. They're all expenses. They need to be paid regularly. But the purchase of the actual vehicle, we're going to call it as an asset. Now, one uh, exception to this, uh, which I've put in here, is purchase of inventory. So for this level, this class, you know, we're going to be treating it as an expense. So this is called purchases. I'll pick it up. So anytime you have purchase of inventory, we just simply call it purchases. It, we call it an expense. It's a running cost to the business um, and it's offset against revenue that's earned. Now later on in the course um, we will be recording inventory on hand, you know, looking at stock takes, um, we'll just be adding those in but for this level only anytime you see a purchase of inventory, purchase of goods, purchase of something that's going to be sold to a customer, it's always going to be an expense, always an expense because 
Well, if we're buying inventory, for example, a restaurant, we want to sell those items within the next year. Otherwise, we have a lot of old, stale food that we have to be selling. So, that's a critical thing. A critical thing to remember that assets versus expenses. Okay, so that's it all on expenses. Expenses are the running costs of the business. Um, and just remember that there is a difference between buying an asset and then also paying for an expense. You have to think, how long is this going to last? Is it going to last maybe less than a year? That's probably going to be an expense. Is it going to last more than a year? Well, that's probably going to be an asset.